shifting the narrative is about our freedom. And we aren't free until we are all free. To create change is to create room for stories other than the ones that look like mine. So with that being said, let me get out the way and let the story be told. Hi, so I'm Milan, I'm 22. I've been with Isaac for about like a year and about a month now. My name is Isaac, I'm 21. I've been in love with Milan since the first day I met. So I'm from Queens, I'm from Cambria Heights in Queens. My father's Jamaican, my mom is black in American, I'm gonna call it. And we moved from Cambria to Long Island, so now we live in Long Island. So I felt like I couldn't be myself as a teenager, and I couldn't like dive into the things that I wanted to do. I couldn't like bring myself out of me, so it's like I couldn't pull myself out of my personal shell as a teenager. So high school was fun. Of course, I had fun, but other than that, like me personally, it was like a, a battle on a daily basis. So it was just like I didn't want people. I guess I didn't want people finding out who I really was, but at the same time, everybody knew. So it was kind of like that. My childhood upbringing was definitely. I want to describe it as different than like what it is now because I feel like I grew up in Boston so like we're really conservative out there yet my parents are really liberal but my mom let me go to New York for college and I feel like that sort of aided me into like coming out of my shell. I kind of had to like sit down and like talk to myself like who you are and what I am what I want to be is not my personal issue when it comes to anybody else so it's just like everybody's issues about me it's not mine to deal with whatever they had to say, the comments, their attitudes, the discretions, that's not, there's none of mine to deal with, because at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to be me, I'm gonna have to wake up myself, go to work myself, do everything as myself, so it's just like, whatever is not accepted as of myself, I can't be part of that kind of circle, I can't be in that fraction, so whatever wasn't accepting of it, whatever wasn't supportive of it, I had to just cross it out. It was difficult, because I was positive, but like now, I can honestly say like, the man I'm becoming, like, I love it, I really do love it. But like me coming out was just for me and like I also had the mindset where it was like those who matter don't mind and then those who mind don't matter so it's like that's how I got my life. I've learned how to calm down and use my words more. I've learned how to just pull back not just from him but in anything like pull back and and then jump back in so like I've learned how to speak more clearly. I've learned how to like practice things out that want to be said. I've learned how to hold back some. I don't have, I don't, I've learned, one thing I did learn was like not to have any resentment when it comes to anything. I don't like to hold grudges, I don't like to hold anything against anybody. So, and with that, also I learned how to like, he's shown me how to support, he's shown me how to love more in a clear sense. So it's just like with him, I've learned a lot about love. I've learned what kind of love I like. I learned what kind of love he likes. I've learned about love languages. I've learned when to give it. I've learned when I should hold back. And I've just literally learned how to deal with someone. And, he better propose to me. <laughs> I better get a ring. But yeah, hopefully, um, I want to get married to him. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. I want to start my life with him. I feel like I see, you know, us having however we have kids. Hopefully one day if I can get pregnant. But um, you know, I want to have kids with him. I want to start a life with him. I want to wake up in the morning and cook him breakfast and be there when he gets home. Like when we both get off work, I want to go home to him. He's helped me become more patient. Definitely more patient. Um, made me, he's just always putting me on new things. Like, I feel like I'm a homebody, so I like to stay inside a lot, but he's from New York, so he likes to go out a lot. So I feel like it's just like, both of us together, like it's like any game. Just say Rome wasn't built in a day, because I feel like we're literally always changing. And like, even from like last year when we met, to right now, I feel like it's just been, it's just been a lot of change. And like, I'm, I'm grateful for it, man. I'm happy and I want to keep changing him. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you're you know, like in a modern day love story. He said in my DM, and I was like, who's this? And why? And then I opened it and we started talking, we spoke for a couple days, and I agreed to him with my number. And then things went from there. And then we met, well, since he was in Boston, I'm in New York, we actually spoke for like, it was like a month until we first met. It was like a month or two months we first met. And then we met downtown and we were just like walking around and stuff, and then like when he when he kissed me the, for, for the first time, it was just like fireworks, fireworks, cars doing drifts and everything. It was just amazing because like I never felt that from anybody in my life. So it was just like I was surprised and scared, then not because like I knew I was like damn I'm gonna fall up. Like it was just from then on I was like I know I'm gonna fall up. 
I knew it was one when I didn't want to go to bed mad at him. Like, I don't want to go a day when we're not speaking or angry at each other. Like, I don't want to end that day. And, you know, you feel away about it because, like, if you're mad at me, I'm going to get sad. Like, from then on, it was just like when I kept learning more and more about him, it just became stronger. And then, like, the feelings kept getting reinforced and reinforced. With each word I say, I just want to know, like, I love you. Like, I want to be with you. I'm just like, no matter what we do, like, I would choose him again and again. Like, I would choose him each time. Like, there's somebody I would want to be right here with right now. We definitely face him, but I feel like both of us are just in a certain place where we don't let it affect us as much. Yeah, it doesn't faze me because I'm gonna love my man out loud, I'm gonna love my man in public, I'm gonna love my man in private, I'm gonna love him in any setting, so like, it doesn't really bother me at all. Be patient, don't settle. So, don't settle for like the first, first man or the first woman you meet. Um, settle for like the person that makes you happy, or like, don't even settle, don't consider it settling, but go with the person that makes you happy, despite what anybody else says. Like, if that person makes you happy, then be with that person. And that's what's gonna make you confident. Like that love, that bond is gonna make you confident. Everything he said, and then be secure in yourself. Like make sure you yourself is okay. Make sure you know you can handle yourself before you come into somebody else. Black love to me is like defined. It's like loud. It's we're right here. And, you know, we're not gonna be shaped. We're not. It's not gonna be shook. It's not gonna be broken. It's a lot of us. We come in colors, shades, shapes, and sizes. And like the love that black love brings out of you with, you know, your black partner. That's how I feel like it is to me, because like I said, it's loud, it's here, we're there. We're always gonna be here. It's not gonna be shit, we're not gonna be broken. That's how I feel like black love is.